In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys seven six figure and above potential products to start drop shipping on your Shopify store from July and onwards. <laughs> What's going on guys? It's your boy Yash. Welcome back to the channel. I hope each and every single one of you guys is absolutely having a great day and a great week. For those of you guys that are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button with your post notification bell on so you are updated with all recent uploads. While you're at it, be sure to give this video a huge like. Make sure you guys smash that like button down below so it can reach as many people as possible. Your support absolutely means the world to me. So guys, it's the beginning of the month and a lot of people are scouting and researching for potential products to start drop shipping or selling on their stores. Well, you're in luck because I've done the hard part for you guys. I've done my due diligence, my research and validation on seven of these products over the past week. And yes, I can confidently say that each one of these products has at least six figure potential. Not only are we going to be taking a look at each individual product, however, alongside with the product, I'm also going to be giving you guys the follow the cost price, the potential selling price, the type of store each product would work well on, the gender for that product, five potential Facebook ad interests that you can actually utilize when testing the product, and also the type of video creative or creatives that would work well with each individual product. Sit back, relax, take some notes, and obviously afterwards, go implement some action because I can confidently say that each one of these seven products have massive potential for the ongoing months. Without further ado, we're gonna hop into my computer and get started with the first product. Bada bing, bada boom, the top seven products to start dropshipping from on your Shopify store from July, 2020. Really quickly, before we do move forward into the video, if you guys already have not joined my free Facebook group, Ecom Masterminds, I will be leaving a link to that in the description down below with all my other social media accounts so you guys can stay connected with myself. With that being said, let's dive straight into product number one. So product number one is our swimming resistant band. And with more and more public pools and recreational centers and gyms being closed, a lot of people aren't able to go swimming, especially kids and adults who want to constantly improve their swimming training skills, who want to stay in good shape as well. Therefore, this is a great product for anyone who wants to train with this resistant band in their pool at their homes. How it basically works is that you put this little band right here at the base of your swimming pool or wherever you want it actually tied. The resistant band is actually in the middle and then this little band actually goes around your waist, just like how it is depicted in the picture right Right here. Essentially, you can do various swimming techniques and actually stay stationary while working out your muscles and stuff like that. Yes, this is a product specifically tailored to the summer. However, this will definitely be in demand for the next few months. The other good thing about this product is that it comes in different sizes such as 2 meters, 3 meters, and 4 meters. I do suggest just selling it in one standard price to avoid confusion and it also comes in different colors as well. To add on, it also comes with a free mesh bag as well to store all of your goods in so you can also include that on your website. You can include something like free bonus mesh bag included with every purchase or something like that. I think that will be a good incentive for people. When it comes to our swimming resistant band, the cost Cost price is about $13.85 for the specific product. You can easily sell this product for 2 to 4x more, meaning the actual markup of the product. The store type that this product would do well on would be obviously a micro branded one product store. You'll see that most of these products can attain or do well with one product micro branded stores, meaning a store basically tailored around that one specific product. If you were to have a niche store, perhaps a summer or fitness or wellness oriented store. In terms of gender, both male and female can use this. Some potential Facebook ad interests are swimming, speedo, summer, parents with kids from the ages of 3 to 17. A lot of parents, you know, want to train their kids and have them adept at swimming, so you can definitely target their groups as well, and also beach life. Just a quick note, I have done my due diligence and research behind these Facebook ad interests, so you can definitely plug and play with these. Ad creative types, I would highly recommend a video with a thumbnail and split testing those two, meaning having two videos and two thumbnails. The reason you want to split test them is see which one gets a higher watch time, more video views, a higher click through rate, more engagement and whatnot. When it comes to my ad creatives on Facebook, I always like split testing too, especially when it comes to video. Our second product is the floating pool chair. Again, 
with a lot of public swimming pools and recreational centers being closed and whatnot, you know, people need something to have in their pools at home. Let alone a lot of people have been buying pools as well to put in their backyards and whatnot. With that being said, this is definitely an in-demand product right now that is super, super hot. Again, adults and kids can both use this. It's super light. It has really good profit margins as well. You basically just put it in your pool right here and you can basically sit in it, which makes it really, really convenient and a great summer product for your house pool. The other good thing is that this AliExpress supplier really has good pictures, so you can definitely use this for your social media and your website as well. When it comes to the cost price of the floating pool chair, it is about $4.95. You can easily sell this for about 4 to 6x more on your store. When it comes to the type of store this specific product would work well on, it would be again a micro branded one product store or when it comes to niche or niche stores. A summer store meaning based around summer trending products or an outdoor store specifically selling backyard products that people can use at their homes gender i would say both male and female obviously it's not really gender biased some potential facebook ad interest again would be akasia swimwear which is a swimwear company one piece swimsuit parents with kids ages from 3 to 17 summer vacation and Walmart. Ad creative types, I would definitely recommend having a video with a thumbnail, actually someone using it in the video, maybe setting it up. I would also have a carousel ad with a bunch of pictures of this specific product and a single image ad as well. Maybe make a nice collage or just one single big image with some text and whatnot. The reason why I threw in to test images with this specific product is because this product is more self-explanatory. It doesn't need a lot of unfolding and a lot of demonstration as well. So who knows, that single image or that carousel ad may be able to outperform your video ad with the thumbnail as well. So always, always test and know what kind of product can adhere to each specific type of creative. Next one I found super interesting and this is actually a super untapped product which I see not a lot of dropshipping stores selling and it is our magic sand free mat. A lot of people have been going down the shore to the beach especially here in the United States. A lot of people typically bring different mats and stuff like that to sit when it comes to going on the beach obviously to lay down on to get a nice tan. If you come with your family, your friends, you obviously need something like this like a nice little spread to sit down on. Now every time you get up or every time you sit down or just you you know wind or you know it can be really anything sand inevitably comes on a specific sheet that you're sitting on that can be super super annoying it can stick on your body it can get in the way it can maybe come in your food if you're eating or whatnot so this specific product what it does is any sand that basically comes it falls down and it basically sinks back into the floor of the beach Essentially, it prevents any sand from physically staying on the mat like it is showing in this picture right over here. Again, this specific supplier has some great pictures you can utilize on your website and also for social media purposes. So yes, this is a problem solving and conveniency product. And the good thing is that it comes in two different sizes. 1.5 meters or 2 meters which you can easily convert into feet and inches if you're specifically targeting only the US and it also comes in different colors of preference such as green, blue and pink as well. Super seasonal and trending product which has a lot of features to go viral actually when it comes to Instagram and Facebook marketing and more than that it has some great profit margins too which we'll be diving into in just a sec. When it comes to the cost price of our magic sand free mat it is about $8.86 to $10.61 depending on the size you're actually choosing. I would say you can mark up this product for about 2 to 4x more and since it is a problem solving product you can really focus on the marketing angle, how it prevents sand from staying on the actual mat, which is a very, very common problem that people deal with. Store type, I would say micro branded one product store when it comes to a niche or niche store, a summer store, outdoor store, or even a travel and convenience store as well. When it comes to some potential Facebook interests, I would say Bikini Beach, Beach Life, Parents with Kids, ages 2 to 18. A lot of parents have been taking their kids and little ones to the beach because they're super, super, super bored You know, when it comes to just being at home. A lot of amusement parks and stuff like that have been closed. A lot of pools and recreation centers, again, like I stated before, have been closed as well. Airbnb and I love the beach. Add a creative type, I would highly recommend a video with the thumbnail and split testing between the two. Again, you want to show how the product works and what the product actually does, how it is so different than just your typical beach mat. So again, a video actually demonstrating and unfolding of the product would work really, really well. 
The next product we have is our U-shaped massage roller and I've actually seen this product quite a few times when it comes to my Facebook newsfeed. However, again, I have done my research and validation behind all of these products, not only this one, and not a lot of people are selling it. I think there's still massive room when it comes to this specific product. And the good thing is that you can take multiple, multiple marketing angles on this specific product. The main purpose of this U-shaped massage roller is that you can massage your arms, relieves tension, relieves muscle soreness and stuff like that. It is essentially multifunctional. Again, you can use it on your forearms, um, on your legs. Um, again, it has a lot of different functionalities. I know massage products have been doing really, really well lately, especially a lot of people being stressed and just working from home and sitting at home and you know suffering from muscle tightness and muscle soreness and stuff like that. So again, a lot of different marketing angles you can actually take on this one. This is obviously a problem solving product, yes. And when it comes to investing into people's body or for people's body, people usually don't think as hard because obviously, you know, it makes people feel better. People who do deal with muscle soreness and muscle tightness and just want to relax their muscle tissues and whatnot. So it is a little bit easier of a sell, assuming you have a good ad copy, good pricing and good website setup. Last but not least, it does come in three different colors, black, blue and pink. The cost price for our U-shaped massage roller is about $14.55. I would easily sell this for about 3 to 4x more. It may seem a little bit on the higher end. However, if you really focus on the features and benefits more so and the end results of the product, you can easily, easily sell it for that price and have people buy. What type of store this U-shaped massage roller would work well on? I would say a micro branded one product store. I think would work absolutely wonders when it comes to something like this. I think you can really, really brand it and tailor that specific store to this one singular product. Niche or niche, I would say somewhere around fitness, wellness, and self-care. When it comes to gender, I would say both male or female, regardless of your gender or your age, you may need something like this to relieve some tension off of your muscles and your tissues, obviously. Furthermore, some potential Facebook interests I do want to give you guys for this specific product would be relaxation technique, massage chair, stone massage, health and wellness, and manual therapy. When it comes to your ad creative types, highly, highly, obviously, a video with the thumbnail split testing amongst the two. You actually want to showcase someone actually using the product, maybe with some captions as to what it helps, how it helps, and also demonstrating or highlighting the end result of the product as well. This next one is super untapped in the space. I've barely seen anyone sell this so far, and it is our portable hair wash or shampoo basin. And this is actually really, really beneficial for women who are pregnant. Um, I know a lot of studios and hair salons especially are closed. So not only can it help pregnant women, I believe this picture is of a woman who is pregnant, but again, since a lot of studios and hair salons are closed, not a lot of people have been able to go out to you know, get their hair done, to dye their hair, whatever it really may be, this may be super, super beneficial. It makes it super convenient and super easy. Again, going back to pregnant women who may not have to you know, bend down or be in a certain position, this makes it super convenient and super easy. So yes, it is a problem solving product. You can see that you can also easily store this as well. It takes up not a lot of space, um, and it really has a lot of multifunctional uses. Again, not only for pregnant women, but for the elderly, for kids, just for any woman in general. And again, just places like studios and massage parlors and hair salons being closed, there is definitely more of a demand for something like this, something that you can actually utilize in your homes. The cost price for our portable hair wash basin is about $33.73. It is a little bit of a lower to mid ticket item, I would say, but you can still sell it for about two to three X more with some potential cross sells as well. The store type that this would do really, really well on, I would say is a micro branded one product stores. I wouldn't even specifically go for a niche or niche store, but rather again, focus on a micro branded one product store. If you do in case want to go towards a niche or niche store route, I would say amongst the self care niche, beauty niche and home improvement niche. Gender, I would only specifically target females, even though men or males can use something like this technically, just because of the nature of the product and how it is built, I would only be targeting women. Some potential Facebook ad interests again consist of beauty salon, amazing hairstyles, Vogue, just or newly married. I say just or newly married because it is more of a likelihood or a possibility of women who are just married a few months ago or a year or two ago to be pregnant 
and again this product is great for women who are pregnant so again guys make sure you're using your market intuition and logic when it comes to these Facebook ad interests and last but not least the last interest is L'Oreal ad creative types I recommend a video with the thumbnail and split testing amongst the two again you really want to demonstrate how the product works who it is beneficial for how it is beneficial and the end result of the product maybe you know highlighting how it is convenient how it is portable you know what the product is usually used for and make people aware about this specific product that they really really do need it in their homes our second to last product is our fishing plier grip set now fishing products usually do well when it comes into the spring and into the summer as well they are really really mass targetable and easily targetable and they have a really huge market as well so again fishing products are absolutely great to sell I personally do not fish too much so I'm actually going to be showing you guys a video when it comes to what this specific product has to offer however it is a multi-functional um, tool that has a blade that you can use to cut any material line. Um, it also has, you know, different colors, both blue and black. Again, these are some great, great product images, guys. It also comes with the aluminum alloy fish grip. It has a self-contained weighing system. Uh, you can basically lift the fish anytime, anywhere, and it can weigh any fish up to 16 kilograms, which is definitely more when it comes to pounds. Really quick before I actually show you guys the specific video of what this product entails, is that when you go to your supplier, whether you're using AliExpress or CJ or just something else in general, make sure you're selling the one that not only has this grip right here, but also the plier and also the case that comes with the plier as well. You basically wanna sell this as one whole product. I mean, you can go ahead and sell it as a bundle or upsell or cross sell and maybe just sell this, but I would just rather sell this specifically as a set both the pliers and the grip, it just looks like you have more to offer on your store. So both the fishing pliers and the fish grip, rather than just selling the actual grip. Let's take a look at the video so you guys have more of an understanding of how this fishing product is actually really, really unique and what it specifically has to offer. You guys essentially get the point I would group this product as a convenience product just because of what it has to offer rather than you know searching and buying different tools when it comes to doing all these tasks when you do go fishing and I would say passion product because obviously if you don't like fishing or don't go fishing you obviously wouldn't buy something like this therefore it does make it a little bit of an easier sell as to present this to someone who already likes fishing or who may go fishing when it comes to every single season the cost price for the fishing plier and grip set in terms of the actual bundle or the entire set that i recommended you guys to sell is about 22 dollars 70 i would sell this specific product or products i would say for two to three X more in terms of how much you're marking it up. A micro branded one product store would work really well for this product. And if you're going the niche or niche route, I would say fishing, which is super niche down or outdoors, which is a little bit of a more general niche. When it comes to gender, now just a quick note, I'm not being offensive or gender biased or anything like that. Even though women can technically use this product, I'm pretty sure a lot of women or girls do go out there and fish because of the nature of the product, because just fishing as a nature, as a category or as a hobby or sport, it is more widely appealed to male and men for the purpose I would only target male on Facebook. You can go ahead and target both male and female, but I'm 99% certain you will be getting more of your traffic, let alone your purchases from the male demographic. Some good to use Facebook interests are fishing, outdoor life, outdoor recreation, Berkeley fishing, and fishing techniques. When it comes to the ad creative type, guys, do not use a single image or carousel ad for this specific product. This product does need explanation, it does need demonstration, it does need unfolding. Maybe show someone going fishing, actually using the product, how it's beneficial 
benefiting them. Again, really highlight the features and the benefits of this specific product, how it is a problem solving, especially a convenience product when going fishing, a product that you always will need when you are going fishing. So I think that marketing angle can really, really work well combined with testing a video ad with the thumbnail, obviously. The last product I do want to present to you guys is our multifunctional grinder or our electric milling machine. I have not seen this product sell too much when it comes to Facebook ads. So I think there is a lot of room when it comes to something like this. It's super easy to use. Again, this is something you can include in the description or actually showcase in your ad of someone actually carrying out these actions. And you can place your items um, into a little container, cover them, uh, blend them or grind them. And basically it will come out grinded just as you want. The other super, super good thing about this product is not only can you use it to grind coffee beans, but also different spices and herbal medicines and stuff like that, especially people who are into homeopathic practices and different internal and homemade medicine remedies and stuff like that. Um, again, fine grinding, clean, high nutrition, easy to absorb. These are all features and benefits you can highlight not only on your product page, but also your ad as well to get people curious and to get people wanting this specific product. You obviously can include little details like transparent protective cover, uh, master the grinding process, three or four stainless steel, safe food grade. Again, these are all details and specifications you can obviously include on your product description, maybe under specifications or something like that because people will be curious in terms of finding things out, maybe the voltage or the power. Definitely make sure you include all that miscellaneous information because you do want to present people with every fact that you have about your product. Our multifunctional grinder can be purchased at $15.34 approximately can be about sold for two to four racks in terms of markup. Store type, I think would be absolute banger if you guys do make a one product store around this specific product. Really brand it, really make it your own. I think this product has a lot of potential to white label as well, which really puts you at a benefit if something like this does really work. So again, a one product micro branded store would absolutely kill it. Niche or niche, I would say kitchenware or home improvement. Gender, I would say male and female, as anyone can really use this to you know blend and grind stuff up. Some potential Facebook interests I do want to give you guys: uh, Starbucks, Keurig, Food Network, Tim Hortons, and BuzzFeed Food. You can also seek out and target some other potential Facebook interests, such as homeopathy or homemade medicine or home remedies and stuff like that. As again, not only is this to grind coffee beans, it's probably mostly used for that, or that's what people would mostly use it for, but you never want to assume, you know, again, it is a multi-functional grinder, so people can really grind anything as they wish. When it comes to ad creative type, I recommend using a video, highly, highly recommend actually using a video with two thumbnails, obviously split texting them, maybe someone in the kitchen, you know, showing that they're grinding coffee beans or different spices, you want to show or be able to show that the multifunctional grinder is used for you know grinding not only coffee but different things again really focus on the end result of the product how finely it is able to grind you know your coffee beans or really just whatever you place in the container that is the main selling and buying point of this specific product and there you go guys the seven products to start drop shipping on your shopify store from july and onwards for the next few months at least you guys have the products in front of you guys hop on these as soon as possible go out there go implement some action go make some money and do not wait around till these do become saturated in the next two to three months as always any questions thoughts concerns leave them in the comments below i always make sure to reply to each and every single one of you guys and with that being said again thank you guys so much for tuning in comment below if you guys do well with these products i would definitely be curious and interested to know and i will see you guys soon peace